Hi everyone, let's talk about the multinomial theorem. Recall that the binomial theorem says that if we have an expression like x plus y to the power of n for some positive integer n, then it expands like the following. We have the sum which iterates for k equals to 0 through n of n choose k times x to the n minus k and y to the k. So that's our binomial expansion theorem. So the next question is how can we generalize this? We want to expand an expression that looks like x1 plus x2 all the way through to xm for some positive integer m to the power of n. And we want to know what that looks like after expansion and collecting like terms. So there's two tasks to be done here. For the expansion, we can tell what it is by a theorem that can be proven by induction. So this expression here, if we write it out, it's x1 plus x2 all the way through to xm times x1 plus x2 all the way through to xm. And we keep going like this n times until we get x1 plus x2 all the way through to xm. So we have n factors. And now what happens is that in the expansion we get a sum of products and each product is one contains exactly one element from each factor. What I mean by that is something like this. We have, for example, we take x2 from, from the first factor, then we take x1 from the second factor, and we keep going until we take some factor from the last factor, some, some term from the last factor. So there's going to be, there are n places and there's m possibilities for each one so there will be m to the power of n terms. Now the question is what happens when we collapse terms. For example we might have x1 x x1 x2 x3 x1 and that collapses into x1 cubed x2 x3 but that's also the same as x1, x3, x2, x1, x1. So what we're really looking at are permutations with repetitions. So there are some terms that are repeated and are indistinguishable from each other. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to say a general term, general term looks like this, x i1, x i2, all the way through to x i m, because there are, actually it should be x i n, because there are n terms, n factors from which we can choose one, one term from each. And each of these, the ij, the indices, they lie in the set 1, 2 through m, which can concisely be written as the uh, section m of the, the mth se initial segment of the positive integers. So what we're looking at are terms with, in general, k1 of the x1s, k2 of the x2s, and all the way through to km of the xms. And what we're going to have is k1, 
k2 all the way through to km are greater than or equal to zero. Some of them just might be zero because otherwise we'd have exactly one of each. And we can certainly have more than one of some, which makes some of them uh, zero, some of these ki zero. And what we're going to need is k1 plus k2 all the way through to km is equal to n because there are n factors from which we're choosing. And that means that if we, if we were to fix it, then after collapsing, the, the after collapsing and uh, what I mean by collapsing is collecting like terms, the coefficient is the permutation k1 plus k2 all the way through to kn factorial divided by k sorry km k1 factorial k2 factorial all the way through to km factorial and this is none other than the multinomial coefficient now you know why it's called the multinomial coefficient n and the top because it's this, this sum here and the bottom we have k1 comma k2 all the way through to km so what the multinomial expansion is is that x1 plus x2 all the way through to xm to the power of n is equal to the sum of k1 plus k2 all the way through to km is equal to n and the ki are greater than or equal to zero integers. We have this over here so n choose k1, k2 all the way through to km times x1 to the k1, x2 to the k2 all the way through to xm to the km and that is the multinomial theorem. It's a bit messy but it can be useful at times. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.